In the 1850s, George Hurst was scouring the western United States and the world for mining opportunities. The Comstock Mine, the Mines of Deadwood, and others were consolidated, and the money poured out of the smelters for the ruthless bosses. When the railroad came through the southern New Mexico territory in 1870, Hearst and throngs of miners poured in, and one of these Wild West mining camps popped up just west of Deming, New Mexico. There was horrible heat, biting cold, and there wasn't any good water. But by 1885, there was a post office, a hardware store, and many other businesses. It was known as Victorio, named after the Apache Indian chief who had shot many minor through and through with arrows. Many a men met death through accidents, murders, hanging, fever, and just disappearing. At the peak, there were over 300 rough and tough residents, and the bosses pulled out about a million and a half dollars worth of ore before the veins were all tapped out. The claims were swapped back and forth, and a few hardy souls kept up the work here until about 1905, when it was finally over. Now the saloons and honky-tonks are gone, the brothels are back to dust, and there is little left but scores of holes in the ground that guard the secrets of the departed. The only sound that can be heard is the lonesome low-pitched scream of a windmill praying for oil, transcontinental jets streaking overhead, six miles high. You may hear the bellow of a calf, but you will always hear the whispering wind. Thank you.